Hey Space Cadets, it's Lanshin. So if you watched my recent post on Instagram, you may have noticed that I've officially stopped my Patreon because I decided that I never intended to be a teacher. I just wanted to help people, but being an art teacher was not my main goal. I am an artist first, and because of that, I felt that it was best for me to no longer continue down that path. I will make a video explaining a little more in detail for you guys, but I just wanted to let you know prior to watching this video that this is going to be a lot different from the stuff I posted before because this is going to be a process video explaining the journey to creating this. I'm not going to be explaining step by step. It's not that type of video anymore. It's just not what I want to do, so I hope you guys understand. And there are lots of other artists here on YouTube that do step by step tutorials that you can follow along with it's not just me so i hope that you just accept my work for what it is and that you still continue to follow me along my art journey while creating my pieces look guys the point in these videos is to give you the tools that you need to create something like this as an artist it's really important that we each go along this journey to self-discovery and learning and without going along that journey you can't really reach the destination you want to if you just get handed everything along the way I wouldn't be where I am today if I wouldn't have been you know working my butt off for eight going on nine years trying to nail down my own techniques and skills and I did not do that by getting taught by somebody on hand so trust me the time is well spent put into learning to create your own style and build your craft the way that you really need to if you want to become a full-time artist. Sorry, I just have to keep stressing that because I just really want you to understand where I'm coming from and why my videos are changing. Just because I'm no longer teaching step-by-step -step tutorials does not mean that I am not here to help you to the best of my ability. So feel free to ask questions. You can DM me on Instagram too and I can help you with your own artwork and give you tips and advice. Let me start off by saying that this piece was not easy. This was so challenging and I'm really glad that I pushed myself to do a piece like this just because there's so much detail that goes into making this look as realistic as possible. I just wasn't sure if I was capable or not, but it's always such a good thing to challenge yourself whenever you find the opportunity to. Now for the paints. The Basics Magenta, I don't really recommend this one. It's pretty translucent. I know I've seen some reviews of people using it and they actually said it was pretty opaque for Basics, but I have to disagree. It was not as vibrant as I really wanted it to be. I wish I had a heavy body, but unfortunately because of quarantine, I was not able to go out and get the paints that I normally would want to use for a project like this. So I worked with what I had and it did turn out really, really great. Another translucent paint that came in handy during this process actually ended up being a fuchsia pink by Gin Crafts. So just so I showed you all the materials that I'm using in the beginning of the video, I will have those listed below in the description box or something similar, just dependent on what I can add to my Amazon store because not everything is on Amazon, unfortunately. I wish it was. If you've made it this far, drop a comment below and let me know because I'm just curious to see 
who actually stuck around through this video after the beginning. If you stuck around, I just want to say thank you so much for the continued support and I just really, truly appreciate you. And for those of you who have stuck around that are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. And if you liked this video and you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe and hit that like button and turn on your notifications so you get updated every time I post. And if you were interested in checking out more of my artwork, you can find my work at Atlantian Designs on Instagram or Etsy. Hello.